To set up sending SMS and receiving SMS text from Podio through smartphone, we could use this tutorial given by smartphone, which is pretty good. It leaves some minor details out that I think are important and to help you more smoothly go through the tutorial and get it right the first time. So I have this link tutorial, this link to the uh, smartphone tutorial in my tutorial in this post, which would be right here. And then let's continue and set this up. So the first thing we need to do is add three fields. We're going to be sending text through what I call like an email interface in Podio. So there's going to be a message field and a send button in a sense. Also, we're going to have to set up a field to provide the number that we're going to be sending the text from. And these will be a listing of your smartphone numbers. So let's uh, we have to add those three fields. So let's go into Podio and add these three fields. First, we're going to add the a category field that will list the smartphone numbers that we have. So let's go to Podio. I'm in my contacts app because that's where I'm going to control everything. And that's where we told smartphone that we're going to get the numbers from so we can keep track of all our contacts and our numbers. So let's go to modify template. And we'll add, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and do this, add a category field. Call this from number. And then we'll add our numbers. So my number is 973-975-4348. And I only have one smartphone number, so I'm just going to list it here. If you have multiple, and then you just list other options below. And then here we'll do a type of a uh, a list or a drop down so we can just select the drop down it's it's better looking than an inline and a list and then we'll want single selection all right so the next field we're going to add is the message field so that would be a text field and we can call this what did i call this in the tutorial we called it text message right here and it's a text field single line and no values for default. So text message. Go to the option, tell it single line. You don't want to have multiple line or multi-line because when you do that, Podio stores it with HTML tags with it. So if you have paragraph and new lines and that will come through in your text messages and you don't want that where you don't want to have the hassle of having to strip all that out just for a little bit of usability on your Podio interface. So we'll click off there. And finally, we have a category field right here that is an inline single choice category field with just one option of send text. So you'll click this and it'll trigger the Globiflow flow that we'll be creating to send the text message through smartphone. So category field. I called this uh, actions and send SMS. Do you want to be consistent? Okay, I said send text. Close that, and we should be good. So we'll hit. Oh, we'll set the options to uh, single choice and inline right there. And we'll hit done. And if we look at our form, we now have from number, we can select that, text message, and send text. All right. So now the next part of the tutorial is to add the Globiflow flow. So we'll have to log in the Globiflow. Log in. Come to our tutorial or come to our workspace. 
go to our app that we are going to send the text from. And the first thing we should do is refresh from Podio. This will refresh and bring in any of the new fields that we just added. And now we'll add new, new flow, item update. And now we're doing an item update because we're going to be triggered on an existing contact and we're going to update the send or the action field to send text. So to do this, you can see in the tutorial that we need an if field actions value has changed and if actions equal to send text. So that's easy to do if field action value has changed and then we want to make sure it has changed to send check send text not from send text to something else so field value matches if action equal to send text double check that make sure we're good and if actions equal to send text all right, now the next part we create the action and that action step will be to to create a variable to get the phone number that we're sending the text to okay so we'll have a calculation field here in this variable that we're creating and that will pull out the phone number that we'll be using okay and if you need the calculation we have I have it down here in the formulas so we can highlight this copy it and then we'll add it here so we need to add a variable so a custom variable calculation you can add that by either clicking on this and then searching for it or coming over here and I think custom variable calculation is near the bottom Oh, right here now you can just click this and then it'll add it there yeah too many you can just X out and close it out so now we have a variable name we'll call this mobile and now we'll paste in the calculation and one other thing we have to do here since this is actually a field token we can't paste those in we have to type those in or add those for your instance only you can't just cut and paste someone else's so I'll highlight this delete it and then we have to select the contacts phone number so in my contact we're clicking the phone number and now see how it highlights in blue that means we're good to go with that field token all right now the next step for this formula or this flow will be to send a message or request to the smartphone API and that will send the text message so we have to add a get post action so we can scroll all the way down here this is the last one on the right click that get the post give it a name this will be smart send SMS and it'll be a type of post so we have get here so we have to change that to post this is the address the URL that we need to send it to so it's HTTPS phone dot smart dot studio slash SMS slash send I'll make sure I have that down here so you can just cut and paste that right now I do not so I've typed that in right here and now I'll add the post parameters this is the information the values that we're getting from Podio those three fields that we added and we're sending those off to smartphone so they can send the SMS to the appropriate person with the right message so we can that's this part right here so we can highlight that down here 
copy it, come over to Globy Flow, and paste that in. Now just like with the variable up here, we have some field tokens. And we'll do these one at a time. So we have to take the from number. So we highlight that. We'll delete it. And then we'll select the from number here. Contact from number. Next is the mobile number we're sending the message to. So that we pulled out right here. So we're going to take the variable mobile number. So we'll scroll down to this variable area and variable mobile. This name will be equal to the name you have given up here. And now lastly, we have to do the text message. So we highlight this. Make sure you always get from the square bracket to the square bracket. Delete that. Now contact text message right there and then that's it for this uh, this action one thing I forgot is we have to add the uh, API token to this post getter a smartphone won't allow you to send anything if it doesn't know who you are and to verify that you have the privilege to send SMS through their service so to do that you have to click this option this OPT button here and this will open up the headers area. And now what we have to put here is this text right here, this header. So we can highlight that, copy, and paste. And now finally, we're not done yet. This area right here where I have uh, your smartphone API key, let's highlight and delete that and we have to get the API key from your smartphone dashboard and it's pretty easy to get it's right on the front page right here so we can just highlight this copy come back over here to Gobi flow and paste that in and now we are done and we can send an example text. We have to do one more thing. We want to update the Podio to make sure we can, right here, that we just unset the values of the action and the text message to clear those out because you don't want those to remain in there once you've sent the text. So we're just setting actions to unset, text message to unset, and an update action. So we'll I click the plus, type in update the search for update item. We can leave these, these things as is. Select actions, value to un, or just set that to unset. We'll add another field and text message, set that to unset as well. Now this flow is done. So we can just give it a name. So we'll say send smart phone SMS. And you can give it a description if you want. This sends a, an SMS message from Podio through smartphone. And that will save. Now if we go over to Podio, we can do a test and see if it works. Go to Podio. Let's add a new contact. Add a phone number. important is that in this calculation for the variable for the mobile we are actually looking for the mobile number now this is significant because if it's set if the phone number is set for the workplace or home this won't pull that message in or this won't pull the phone number in it'll only look for the mobile and let me show you where that mobile phone number is or how to set that so in your contact 
and the phone field, you have this mobile number right here. So if we edit this, by default, this always shows up as work. So if you were to run the flow, this will not pick up that phone number, so the, the text won't get sent. We have to make sure this is set to mobile. Now, you can also make it so if you want to leave the, this as the default of work, you don't have to worry about it. You can change this text from mobile to work like that, and then you'll be all set. But I leave it as mobile and make sure I change it in the contact's phone number to mobile, and then the text will be sent. Now we'll send a message. So we selected the from number. Now this is a test message. And then we'll send. Now you can see the message has been sent. And I did get a text message. And that's how that works. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or send me an email.